haven't done one of these videos for you in such a long time. I don't think I did one in November, December, January, or February, but we're going to do favorites. And so I gathered together the ones that I thought were my favorites for January and February. And I'm going to get into that with you right now. Hello, girlfriends. I am so glad to be back with you. It's been a long time. I've been on a hiatus, I guess, with my health. And as most of you know, I did have surgery and it was a success completely. But as the month wore on, I was finding that I was having a lot of nerve pain because when they cut you, they cut the nerves completely. So when you come home from the hospital, you are completely numb, like you've been just shot up with novocaine a ton and then as time wears on those nerves come back to life some of them come back to life with no problems some of them come back to life very angry and so you have to deal with that too and i did have kind of one side one part of my incision that was just uh oh talk about angry it was beyond angry it was furious and so i've been kind of dealing with that for february that's why I haven't filmed that much, but here I am and I'm hoping that March will be so much better for us. Now so, we will go over what I'm wearing in a minute because it will be part of the favorites. We'll do that in a second, but we're going to go through the things that I have found recently that I am really liking. So let's start out with these eye patches. These come in a huge amount of eye patches. Now I have not been one that has really gotten into the eye patch masks or the facial masks. I felt like it was kind of a kind of a gimmicky thing and kind of a waste of money because you could actually, you know, make this kind of yourself and just put it on super thick and then wait, you know, 20, 30 minutes and take it off. But with these, I found that I can reuse these like three times. I can put my own serums on here if I want to. You don't have to because it's full of really yummy kind of brightening and really hydrating serums that are in there. And so you can use these without anything else. But after a use or two of them, what I will do is I'll put my own on. And by the way, I stick this whole package. I put it back in the package, back in the sleeve, and then I put the whole package into a baggy and then I take as much air or Ziploc and I take as much air out of it as I can to be able to use, reuse it. And that's how I just make them last a lot longer. I'm cheap, so I don't want to keep buying them that much, but I really do love these. And I put my own serum on there. Like on the third day, I'll put an, either an eye serum or even just one of my regular serums, whatever I like. And it helps so much with the under eyes and keeping them plumped up because you know, lots of times when they get dried out, they look so bad wearing concealer sealer or makeup under there can look terrible because it's not plumped up enough and this really does help with that. I forgot to tell you about my numbering system. So as I hold up the product, there's going to be a number. It should be two right now. And as we go through, they'll be all numbered. Don't worry about remembering what the product is. Just go down to the description box and find that number and the product will be next to it. If there's any color or any sizes that will be there as well. And you can shop that way with the links. Um, this is Vaseline and this is the balm or, you know, put into a balm like this. You basically put this on your pulse points like you would your perfume and make sure that it's on there and then spray your perfume on there and the oil helps grab the perfume and make it last longer for all day. Kind of stay away from where your hair is going to be or it's going to get your hair a little bit greasy. But I do put it behind my ears, on my wrists, in my elbows and um, behind my knees and then I spray all over the place with the perfume and it makes it last so much longer. Especially if you just have a body splash perfume or a body spritz for perfume. I don't know why I can't talk today, but it works really good for that. So keep that one in mind. I think you'll really like that in the end. I also just barely got these new Skechers in the mail a couple of days ago. I ordered them off of QVC and these are the kind of Skechers that I wear all the time. It has the no string or, you know, you don't have to tie it. So it's just got the bungees on it. And I love these that are the lightweight, especially going into spring and summer. They're just so nice. These have such a cute print on them, pale yellow with pink and kind of um, coral in there, purple in there. I loved the print on it, it was so cute. I love Skechers. It's my very, very favorite brand of sneakers to wear. I love them because you can just slip them on. I love them because they never, ever hurt my feet. True to size all the way through every time. I wear a nine, I can buy a nine and it absolutely will fit every time. I love this brand. I will forever 
continue to support them. These are super memory foam inside of them. I think these are adorable going into spring and summer. They're gonna be so nice to wear. And then off of Amazon, I found these and I had to show you these in favorites. Number one, I have still like eight inches, 10 inches of snow outside, but I wore these in the house all day long the other day and they didn't hurt my feet, nothing rubbed. And that is a huge thing for me when I'm wearing sandals. I can't wear the um, flip-flop sandal or the thong sandal where it splits right here with your toe because it always rubs on my toe, I have long toes. And so it always just hurts right there, but these were regular sandals so I could wear them. I thought they were so cute because they have enough of the design on them to be just a little bit of an elevated sandal, but at the same time, you're still getting the pretty much your flat sandal. I do like that they do have quite a bit of memory foam in there and they didn't hurt my feet at all when I wore them. So I love these. They have um, like a zipper in the back right here. You can zip them up and get in and out of them a little bit easier. So I love these. I thought they were so cute. They come in quite a few different colors and I'll make sure that I link those for you as well. I wanted to show you a brand new product from Danessa Myricks. Now this isn't her latest product. This has been out a while, but I really have been enjoying this. This is the Dew Wet Balm Highlighter highlighting face and body balm and the shade is morning dew now this is kind of almost just like a clear one but i'll tell you why this is different and it kind of surprised me i was like normally when you get these that are come in a balm and they're talked about as being a highlighter you normally get them like this one's just clear you get them and they are kind of tacky and they stay tacky no matter how long you have them on. So if you go later on in the day, it's almost like it's a Vaseline product, these other balms that you see. But what's different about the Danessa Myricks one is it will dry down and you won't have that sticky feeling to it. Now you can see right there that it is giving kind of a wet look to my hand. Let me put more on so you can see a little bit better. But it gives that wet look to your cheeks and it stays there all day, even though it's not tacky. And I don't know how it does it. Um, I've got it on today. I don't know how it does it, but it's really cool. It's a very innovative product. This does come in several different colors. I chose this one because I thought that it was gonna have a little bit of color in it, but it's just a clear one. And I think it's something very special, but you kind of almost have to get used to it. It's not like other highlighters that you put on and you get that super color, or you know, sometimes you put on a light, a light highlighter and it's super white, or you put on a golden highlighter and you see the golden. This is so subtle, and that's what I love about it. You know, if you have texture and you just stay away from highlighter, you might really love this one. So I thought it was a good one and wanted to pass that on to you. Elf also came out recently with their color correctors and they have these in all different colors. Now I, my shade is peach and this one is called camo color corrector. And I've been really enjoying this. I've been enjoying it because what happens with it is it's super opaque. So you get that color payoff of canceling out your dark circles or any darkness you might have with age spots or whatever, you can just touch those. But I will put this on and then I'll let it dry down and it doesn't dry out, which is so nice. And what I mean by that is if you're putting it underneath your eyes, if something dries out, you're gonna look even you know older because it's gonna kind of be crinkly. And this doesn't do that. Plus it plays really well with other concealers. And that's what I like about it. I have it on today and I was trying out the new flower concealer, flower beauty concealer. I'm not really sold on that one. So even though I look okay with it, I really had to work with it in order for it to look good. But I do really love this new color corrector. And they have all, all different kinds of colors. They also have a light peach one if you're lighter and they have a darker one. So definitely like an orange colored one. Definitely something that I would look at if I if you needed a color corrector. I think that's a really good one. Also, this is cool. Okay. I was on TikTok and I saw this gal, so this is not my idea, but I have to share it with you because I think it's one of the coolest things that I have found in a very long time. It could be the greatest trick on the planet for lips and being able to keep your lip 
color on for all day now it's not the lip color it's more like the liner scott barnes started the craze with toddy about really contouring your lips leaving that darkness underneath your lips and kind of outlining them in kind of more of a contour color or a deeper color so that you had that kind of shadow and then you could overline and then you could put your color on and it just made your lips look a lot bigger Okay, this this little gal on TikTok, and I wish I remembered her name. I looked for her video, could not find it. I apologize if you're watching this and you know who she is, please tag her so that she gets the credit. But this is Maybelline's Tattoo Studio, and this is their gel. And this one is so cool. Okay, Tattoo Brow, and this is the Easy Peel Off Tint. You take this and the little brush isn't the greatest, but it still works. I mean, I can still get a really good line. And you line your lips, you outline them, you do the pout. I have a whole video on what the technique is on doing this, so I'll make sure that I'll list that below. Hopefully I'll remember that. Um, so you can kind of understand how to do that, how to outline. But here's what happens with this particular product. Okay, you put it on and you just put it on in a line. You can put it on thick or you can put it on thin. It really doesn't matter because it's gonna do the same thing. So what happens, I'm gonna let that dry. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to dry while I'm talking. And I do have it on underneath my lipstick today. Or it looks like there's darkness there. Maybe I've outlined my lips with a dark brown. Well, I haven't. But what the cool thing is, is this product, this Maybelline product, is what you can use in order to get that effect. Now you put it on, you line your lips carefully, I say carefully because it's hard for me with that stupid little brush. I almost would think that you might want to go in with something a little bit more precision if you feel like you have another brush that would work, maybe an eyeliner brush or something, you could do that. But you put it on, you let it set, peel it off, and it is budge proof. I've been wearing this that looks like it's lip liner right now. I've been wearing this since really early this morning. Right now it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. And wow it's incredible that it's still there but i had put this on my hand for a demo on tiktok that i did and i had it on my hand all day long and by the end of the day i'm like i guess i better try and scrub that off but it is so cool because you'll be able to have that contour on there. Now you can go on and overline your lips with a different color if you want to, then put your color on and your lip gloss on, which is actually what I did today. Or you can just use that and put a lip gloss on and it would be gorgeous. I wish that I could get a hold of maybe Maybelline or somebody else and talk to them about possibly doing this in different colors because it would be a fantastic idea for a lip liner that you could put on and have it stain for all day long. And by the way, I will list another one that is kind of like a knockoff from the Maybelline tattoo because I think this is almost $20. I'm like, why in the world is that it was so expensive? But the one that is the knockoff was about $10 and they're identical. They work the same. So I'm assuming that they're probably got the same ingredients and the same kind of technology in them. It lasts just as long as far as it being staining on your lips. Okay, this is dry. So I talked enough and then you just peel it off. So you go in and you just peel it down and there is your line. Now that is, that probably doesn't seem very dark to you, but it's going to be there and it's going to be there all day and you're not going to be able to get it off. And I am here to tell you that is there to stay. So this is genius. I think this looks a little bit gray, but that's what you want. You want it to kind of create that shadow. So that's really what you want. I just think this is such a good idea. Genius. Absolutely genius. I also found this month and I was so excited about it. These are holders for your sponges. Okay, so here's the beauty sponge, right? And what I normally was having was a two-piece deal where half of the piece would be gone and my granddaughter would be playing with it and then the other half I'd be left with and then I didn't have anything to put my wet sponge in so that it doesn't get your other makeup dirty with the foundation or the concealer that you have on there. And the other thing is, is that this helps it dry. So it's got the ventilation in there, as you can see. You just put it in there and it's not going anywhere in your suitcase or in your makeup case. And I liked it because it also protects the sponge from getting, you know, dents in it or whatever if it gets crushed. So I think this is a great idea and I really like it because it's a one piece thing that you can just get your sponge in and out of and it can dry and yeah. Oh, by the way, it comes in a two pack. So if you wanna give one away or you wanna keep one at home and keep one in your makeup case in your car, whatever, it just, 
it just is a great invention or a great idea. They're silicone. You can throw them in the dishwasher if they get super dirty in the top shelf. I just wash mine with a little bit of makeup shampoo or makeup brush shampoo and they come sparkling clean. So love these, think they're great. Now, Ulta came out with their new stick blushes and I'm a little bit in love. <laughs> These are the Too Cheeky for lips and cheeks. So if you wanted to use this on your lips, you could. Okay, so the colors are close up. That's what this one is. You know what I like about this? So creamy. So even though you can use it on your cheeks and it stays on your cheeks, by the way, uh, oh, this is the one I have on today. I was trying to figure out which one I had on, but I do have on for my blush today, close up that I just said, so creamy. And the creaminess I love because you could use it on your lips as well and it not dry your lips out. So that one is kind of just a true pink, a true rose. This one is kind of more mauve-y. And um, what is this one called? This one's called Mood. Um, really pretty. Just a really pretty more of a, just like I said, like a mauve rosy tone to it. And then the last one is kind of a true pink and this one is called Social. And they have corals, they have peachy pinks, they have so many colors. I just thought they were so pretty. And they have lighter, they have darker. There's the lightest one that I have. I really like these. And I love that it's a cream product. Use them on your eyes and have just a little bit of an eyeshadow that ties in with the rest of your face so everything matches. Just so pretty, wonderful texture really have loved it. Now, I also wanna share with you guys what I've been doing with my hair. I have fallen in love with these huge rollers. I used to use these in high school and like probably five years after I was married, every time I did my hair, I did not do my hair without rollers. Of course, they didn't have the nice little velvet flocking on that they do now, and they didn't have the guides that they do that helps heat it up way inside. These are great, and I love these because they're an inch and a half, which is great for just like a bend or body in your hair, and that flocking helps grab onto your hair so they're not gonna fall out like the old ones used to. This one does come with clips too. I don't have them over here, but it does come with the old-fashioned clips that I use every time anyway. Super duper wonderful body on this inch and a half. That's what you're getting. Now they do have other sizes. Another one has an inch and a quarter in there, an inch and some smaller ones. That one is great for actual curls if you want that. But I've been using this one nonstop, partly because I'm so tired of using a curling iron and you know curling my hair and it taking so long and this just, it works so good. So yeah, I put them in my hair when they're hot and you know, completely, you know, do my whole head and then I will wait until they are completely cool. So I'm doing my makeup after I have them in waiting and you will not believe the kind of body that you get out of this. Even the body that you're seeing on the top of my head today, that is all about those curlers because I used them two days ago. Oh man, so. did you all see that my friend Jen Phelps actually came out with a set of brushes from Dalton? I just got this today, but I wanted to make sure that I talked about it because I want to support my girl. I have not had a chance, like I said, to use them, but they feel very, very soft. So you get a paddle brush or a flat concealer brush, a flat shading brush. You get a blender brush that isn't really domed. It's just kind of your, your basic straight up blend blender brush with a little bit of a dome on there. You get kind of a pencil brush. It seems to be a little bit thicker at the point than a regular pencil brush, but it's got that stiffness to it that's so good for smudging out the bottom lash line. So nice. And you also get this really nice foundation brush in there that's angled. And then you get this brush right here, which is just, uh, you could use it for powder, you can use it for highlight, whatever you decide to use it for. It's just a really nice powder brush. So happy for Jen. And if you get the chance to show her some love and some support and congratulations, Jen, it couldn't happen, happen to a better gal. I'm so excited for you. And yeah, she did a great job on it. The last product that I'm gonna show you is from Dermalect. And I discovered this line after my good friend, Sherry from Graceful Beauty talked about it. And I love this product right here. This is the Out Crease Retinol Trifecta Serum. This is retinol, retin, retinyl acetate, and retin, retinyl palmitate. And did I say that right? Yes, I said it right, palmitate. Now this does not replace my heavy duty Trentinoin or my heavy duty Retin-A. 
but I want something that I can use in between those treatments that can help boost that collagen production even more than my tretinoin's doing. So I set out to find something like this and I'm so glad I did. I absolutely love this. And it goes on and it feels like a dry oil. So you're gonna use it and I let it sit on there and then it just kind of dissipates and sinks into the skin. It feels really good. And then I'll put my heavy duty moisturizer on before I go to bed. And they have tons of different skincare products at a fairly reasonable price point. It's not the cheapest that I've seen, but it's reasonable. I feel like I'm noticing brighter skin, a little bit, you know, totter skin. And I just, I've been loving it. Absolutely loving that I have something in between days. So I wanna share with you the top that I have on today. It's a rib knit sweater, short sleeve, mulberry color really pretty and then it just kind of hits right at mid hip right there mid butt right there really do like it the jeans that i have on are really nice jeans they're kind of an acid wash i didn't even know they had acid wash anymore i used to wear them in high school so that's kind of crazy they're not a button up though they actually have a zipper on the side right there so you don't have any buttons or anything and they're pretty darn stretchy um so they're really nice I, this is a large and I'm really glad that I got them in a large. And I will show you a long video of, or a long picture of them too because I love the little split that they have in the front. They just are so cute. And then you can wear tennis shoes or whatever you want with them. Just thought that they were really cute. Also wanna share with you two really cute purses. I am so into this quilted bag thing. And this one has a, it's a crossbody bag by the way, it has the gold chain on it, it's so cute. And it can be, you know, made longer or you can use it as a double. And it's just really a cute purse, has all the gold accents all over it, has the flap that goes over the top. And then it doesn't have a bunch of compartments, it just has the one, which I actually like when you have a smaller purse. I think the compartments kind of cut out from the size of the purse when you do have these little tiny crossbody purses. But I love having the smaller purses, especially since I had my surgery because what happened was I was just not able to carry anything, but I could carry something that was this size, very light and very well made too. So I loved that one. And then I also loved this one, not just for the quilted detailing on it. I loved the color of this because it's almost like, it's almost like a rosy beigey color. And I just thought it was so cute. I loved the little accents. By the way, this is my own little accent. I will list this little keychain for you down below if you're interested. But it did come with the little purse that is, looks like a little kitten on there, which I thought was so cute. Gold accents. And I love that it, they did the black piping on this purse. And you have the handles that you can carry it like this if you want to. But you do have the option of having the longer chain, which I really liked too. And then again, like I said, it's just the one pocket it's got all my crap in there right now but it's just the one pocket this one does have two or three pockets on this side that you can use as well and then the back of it it does have an id pocket i don't think i would feel very safe putting my id in there but you could you know stick something in there if you needed a special paper or something i thought this was a great purse and a great size this is the perfect size for me now my bigger purses i have been using occasionally but the smaller purses are what I'm gravitating towards because I need this small purse so that it doesn't absolutely weigh me down and kill me. So love this one as well. That's it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing my roundup of December, January, February and what I'm loving and what has really caught my attention. I am more interested in finding out what you have been using while I have been on my hiatus and been away so much. I'm losing my voice. I'm so not used to doing this. So I'm interested in knowing what you have found that you are fallen that you've fallen in love with that's always of interest to me because i love to try out your suggestions they're so good so leave all those suggestions down in the comment section and i hope you're doing really well i love you so much and please come back back around really soon in my next video take care of yourselves friends goodbye